Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I am your host Prashant and today we are going to learn one more feature in SwiftUI. So in today's video, we are going to see how you can create this menu option button at the top and once I click on that, we will get this menu pop up here. So if you can see, I have added here text and image also and once I click on that, I will print also that we have clicked on which option. So here one more thing you can observe that this is my first section and here I have created one more section and to that I have added one header here I have not added that just to show that you can add and you can skip also and in the second section I have added only one option that is option number four so today we are going to learn this so let's get started and see how we can do this so like always I will create one new Xcode project and for my this project I am using Xcode beta 3 so make sure you are using that and here I will name it as uh, so since we are creating menu so I will say menu options and make sure these settings are same and click next and let's save it on our desktop okay so the first thing which we are going to create here as you can see this label we have or this button we have added on our navigation view so we will create a navigation view so let me just put this inside one edge stack and I will rename it to navigation view okay after this I will say on this text I will set use one toolbar so I will set so in the previous video we have created toolbar if you don't know make sure you check that video toolbar like this and inside this i will create one toolbar item so here currently you can see it is just showing showing a placeholder so instead that i want to use toolbar item this will have one placeholder so let me just create that placement first i want to tell so here i will say dot primary action and then after this i will create my view so for that I am going to use menu and menu has this one option menu today we are going to see two ways of creating this uh, menu button so one is the one one first is the one which we are now using we just type here small b ok so now we have our menu option ready here let me run this here Okay, it's running and you can see I can click on this but nothing is happening because I have not provided the options which I want to show so let's create those options now so if you want to see that here I have used some different font and if you want to create same button here you just need to add custom font and you have to do few things if you don't know what how to use custom fonts then make sure you check my previous video where I have used this custom fonts in Swift UI so let's get started and create the first section which as you can see here having these three options and second section is having title and one option so let's create the first section and this section is going to have no title so I have not given any header to that and inside this I am going to create three buttons with action and label so first action will be let's say it is going to print only and it is going to print that we have clicked on option one so I will say option one if you are getting confused what I am doing here let me just move to two lines okay now you can see that I have just created one button with action this and after this I will add one label and for this label I will say not this label here I will say after this one label and this label will have one title first I will say it as option 1 and then it will have one image so I will use system image and for system image I will pass let me just check what it is the phone image so I will say phone dot fill 
okay so let me just check what i have done wrong here i have created this then i have given the print option i have closed this here then this and after this i have to create one more bracket for this label like this okay now we have correct and let's click on this and let's see it is showing the option or not okay now you can see it is showing us the first option of this option one so like this we will create two more buttons so let's create just copy paste this okay so i will call it as option two option three for second i will use here message dot fill and for the third one let's say um, i think here i have let me just check it we have video okay so we will use video and now let's click here and see if we are getting three options yes so now we can see our menu is created now what we are going to give is we are going to create one more section with some header or you can say a title so for that i will come outside this section and i will create one more section and now this section is going to have header header i'm just going to pass text let's say i will call it as header title and then after this i will create my button so i will just copy this code and paste it here and here i am going to show one different image which is envelope image so i will say envelope okay now let's click on this and now you can see guys it is reflecting let me just run the code and if we can check whether it is reflecting those options or not so here it is option 3 and here it is option 4 okay now let's run it and see if it is working fine not on ipod i want to run it on iphone 11 okay so this is the previous app let's see yeah so it has launched the new app now let's see if it is working fine or not sometimes it takes time to load okay so now it's loaded now if i click on this i will get this my menu of pop up and once i click on option one you can see here at the bottom it is printing option one option two option three and option four so now you have seen it is working fine so this is how guys you can create a menu options which is available in swift 2.0 and i hope you guys have learned something new and you have liked this video so if you have liked this video and you have learned something new make sure you hit the like button which will encourage me to create more videos like this and to learn more fe such features in the future make sure you subscribe to my channel where i post videos on swift ui swift and also on other features like here i have previously paste or post a video on this github profile and yeah so it's depend it's i try to post videos related to software engineering so yeah if you want to brush up your skills or if you want to learn some new features now and then you can subscribe to my channel so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you have a great day bye